Hi, my name is Patsy, an occupational therapy student at the University of Texas at Tyler. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a leisure activity, a Mandela string art circle activity. Leisure is considered an area of occupation. It's something that we do on our free time. It's not work and it's something that gives meaning to our life. And so today I'm going to be providing instructions on how to complete this particular project. The first step is selecting the base for the project. In this case, I purchased a plank, a board that I got at Walmart, and I went on ahead and painted it black so that my colors actually pop. The next thing is I downloaded a template, a circle template. I went ahead and printed that. I'm going to be using it as the pattern for nailing, uh, putting the nails on the board. And the third thing is that you do need some kind of cotton thread. In my case, I prefer to use these kinds of threads. Uh, many people like to use um, embroidery string. Uh, this is my preference. Now I've positioned the template on the board and I'm going to be using frog tape to adhere the template onto the board. You can use regular masking tape. However, I don't want the masking tape pulling up any of the paint from the board. The next step is to hammer nails into each of the holes in the template. These are small finishing type nails and I've got my hammer and so I'm going to be nailing these all around in the template. All my nails have been hammered into the board and the next step is to tear away the paper underneath. So I've removed the packaging off of each of my cotton thread and I've decided that I'm going to use the lightest layer as the bottom, the bottom layer. Now, on these circles, we need to remember that the lowest layer, the bottom layer, is going to have the diameter, internal diameter, as the smallest. So what we do first is we just tie the string around one of the nails and make a knot. And don't worry about the extra thread. I usually hide these underneath the project when I'm done. And I'm thinking that my lowest layer is going to have a diameter that's about this big, I guess. So starting from here, we're going over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's make it 28. And we're going to be wrapping. 28 around and we're going to be wrapping each of these nails in a clockwise formation each time advancing to the next nail. Make sure you hold the string taut. If it comes So I've decided to use the darker color as the middle layer to have a contrast and I'm going to make a knot on the same nail that I used the first time. And 
if I want these inner diameters to be symmetrical, then I need to make sure I skip the same number. Well, not the same number, but in symmetrical pattern. So the first time we did 28, and so what I'm gonna do is I want it to be about right here, the inner diameter. And so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, two, three, it's 24, okay? So that means that we're doing, we're doing four, four less than last time. First one was 28, now we're doing now we're skipping 24, and so the next one will be 20 just to keep the uh, inner diameter symmetrical. So once again, you're going to wrap clockwise all the way around until you come back to the first nail. So I finished with my last layer, tied it onto the same knot, and by now you notice that some of these nails have quite a bit of tension on them from the string. So I'm just gonna push this down just a little. We can always bring it back up when we're done. Just so it's easy for us to wrap around this final layer. So I know I've mentioned something about keeping it uniform, but I think I'm just going to do this visual. And if you notice, we've got this much space here, this much space here. So when we're doing this, there's no actual rules you need to follow. It's just, for me, it's based on my visual, visual sense of where the, the equidistance is. Okay, so in this case, we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 over. Okay. Again, when you're doing string art, there's no rules. It's a leisure project. This project is supposed to be fun, creative. It doesn't have to be uniform if you don't want it to be. Again, we're just wrapping around in a clockwise fashion until we get back to that original nail again. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the ends, not completely short, and I have this tool, it's got like a little point, it's like a little dowel to make holes in felt. And there you have it, Mandela String Art. Hope you enjoyed it.